In the financial year 2022-2023, the ESC presented a budget of 91.5 million US dollars, which has been increased to 103.8 million US dollars, an additional 12.3 million US dollars. The East African Community Secretariat has been allocated 50.9 million US dollars, the East African Court of Justice, 4.4 million US dollars, the East African Legislative Assembly, 17.6 million US dollars, the Cape Victoria Basin Commission, 8.4 million US dollars, the Interuniversal Council of East Africa, 12.3 million US dollars, Lake Victoria Fisheries Organization, 2.8 million US dollars. Other institutions like the East African Science and Technology Commission has been allocated 2 million US dollars, the East African Kiswahili Commission, 1.5 million US dollars, the East African Health Research Commission, 2.1 million US dollars, and the East African Competition Authority, 1.3 million US dollars. According to Minister Nibigira, the economies of the East African community countries continue to register growth. Total intra-EAC trade grew by, by 11.2% to US dollar, 10.910 billion in 2022 from US dollar, 9.810 billion in 2021. The strong growth in the region was supported by the good performance of the industry, services, construction, mining, and manufacturing sectors. The minister further reported that the East African community has facilitated the construction of the road from Busia in Uganda. For carrying out the feasibility and the funding option study on the multinational Kenya-Uganda, Kisumu, Kisian Busia, Kakira Maraba and the Busitema Busia Expressway project. 57% will be contributed equally by partner states. 43% will be sourced from development partners. There is too much symbolism in this budgeting. The symbolism is in the levels of our ambitions. But in terms of um, resource deployment for positive traction on, on regional integration, there is very little to, to celebrate with this budget. If you look at the budget performance um, of the partner states, it's, it falls short of 65%. But the ESC uh, economy seems to be, they seem to be growing. For example, in 2020, 2021, the growth was 3.5. But now in 2022, we realize uh, that the economies are growing to the extent of 4.5. We're talking about agriculture. How much has been allocated to agriculture, for example? How much in the social sectors? You will find that there's almost nothing. There's no money. Most of the money is in terms of conferences, tours, travels, air tickets, per diem. That's where most of the money is. It is like a traveling institution. So we want to have tangible, tangible effects. We look at the bigger picture. It's not about how much have you contributed, but what do you come with in terms of a community. I know that if we have Congo, Sudan, South Sudan, and Somalia, maybe we have control in terms of the peace, in terms of security, and the bigger market that it bring. Maybe for our people in Uganda, Congo is coming with a bigger market. Despite a slight increment of the ESC budget, the lawmakers of the East African community are concerned that partner states are not committed to their contribution towards funding this budget. Jingo Francis, NTV, in Arusha, Tanzania.